Hi everyone, I'm Anna, the music specialist for Team A and Preschool. Today's music session will begin by waving hello. You can assist your little one with their hand at this time. Um, in the classroom, we use hand over hand a lot, which means you'll place your little one's hand um, over yours, right on top of yours, and you'll do the movement to guide them. Or you can hold their hand, whatever works best for you and your child. So now we'll ask them to reach their hand up high, hold your hand up high, and let's wave. Wave, wave, wave hello, wave hello together. Wave, wave, wave hello, wave hello together. This is the shortened version of our greeting song. Um, you can pause the video right now and wave to each person in your household, um, use their names, take turns, um, so have fun with that. In today's music session, we're going to explore Team A's favorite song, Hawaiian Rainbows. We'll be using gestures based in American Sign Language as well as some gentle, gentle limb movement. We'll have the opportunity to move with a prop. This is totally optional. In the classroom, we use movement scarves. So at home, you can find a bandana, a, maybe a winter scarf, if you have a pom-pom. Um, I found this floofy rainbow colored scarf, so that's what I will use later in the video. First, I will introduce the song and sing it a couple of times so you can get familiar with the melody. Hawaiian rainbows, white clouds roll by. You show your colors against the sky. Hawaiian rainbows, it seems to me, reach from the mountains down to the sea. Hawaiian rainbows, white clouds roll by. You show your colors against the sky. Hawaiian rainbows, it seems to me, reach from the mountains down to the sea. Let's slow the song down to focus on those hand gestures. And of course, as I mentioned before, there's multiple ways to assist your child with their hands. Um, definitely modify the movements when necessary to accommodate their range of motion um, and their dexterity. And this can be done in a variety of positions. You can face them, sit side by side, sit behind them. Um, anyways, so let's slow the song down and uh, work our way through those gestures. First, we paint the shape of a rainbow. Hawaiian rainbows. Notice the high point of the arc matches the highest note in the music. Rainbows. Next, we roll our arms. White clouds roll by. Here is the sign for color, color. You show your colors. When we're using a little more dexterity with sign language, um, again, there's optional options um, for your seeing capable kids. If you wanna model it for them and wiggle your fingers uh, next to your chin, that's great, that's an option. Another option is again to help them with their fingers on their own chin. You show your colors. Next is sky and we push our hands up against the sky. Paint another rainbow, Hawaiian rainbows. Help your little one point to themselves. It seems to me. Next, make a sort of triangular mountain top. Reach from the mountains. And then we'll end with a sign for ocean. So kind of making waves going to the right down to the sea. Use this opportunity to make interesting vocalizations. Ask your kiddo, what does the water sound like? What does the ocean sound like? 
the silly we are with our voices in general, um, the more likely they're going to be excited about exploring their own voices. Let's do it again without, uh, without pausing in between each verse. Hawaiian rainbows, white clouds roll by. You show your colors against the sky. Hawaiian rainbows, it seems to me, reach from the mountains down to the sea. Now we have the opportunity to move with our prop. This is totally optional. Um, if you don't want to use a scarf or if you can't find one, um, feel free to just help your child with their hands. If you are choosing to use um, some sort of fabric prop, then this is a great time to, uh, to help your child explore the texture. Um, ask them how it feels. How does it feel when I rub your hand? Use this as a language development opportunity as well. Maybe name um, different body parts. How does it feel on your hand? I'm gonna touch you on the face with the scarf. What does that feel like? The scarf feels soft on your neck. Um, yeah, just really notice their reactions. Give them lots of time. Uh, we, maybe you'll hear some more vocalizations too. Okay, let's use our either our scarf um, or just your hands to move with the music. And you'll notice that I often will um, match my, my hand or my scarf um, in space to match the high and the low sounds in the song. Um, and actually that brings up a good point. Let's, have, let's um, take a little time to explore high and low vocalizations and moving our bodies in space to match the sound. For example, up high, I'm waving my scarf up high. No, it's down low. You can't see my feet in the video, but perhaps you can bring your scarf down low, down your child's body and touch their feet, their toes. Okay, let's return to the song. Together, move your scarf or your hands to the music. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just have fun, um, get creative with your movements, improvise, and you can really make it your own. Hawaiian rainbows, white clouds roll by. You show your colors against the sky. Hawaiian rainbows, it seems to me, reach from the mountains down to the sea. All right, the end. Hooray! You did it. That's it for today. Let's put our hands up again and wave goodbye. Wave, wave, wave goodbye, wave goodbye together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye, wave goodbye together. Bye-bye, goodbye.